I want to show you what it means to um, give sweat equity. That, if you don't have any money, start with sweat equity, meaning go work for somebody else, use your time, energy to make them money. That's what I did. I'm here at Joel Salatin, my first mentor's farm, and he said, if you want to work for me, you can live in this little cabin. And it didn't have a toilet. Well, it had a bucket. So, and it had no heat or no water. This was my bed right here. I had bunk beds because wow. sometimes there'd be another guy working. And this was the toilet, the bucket. I bet you could still, oh, they changed the floor. There was a hole in the floor and the bucket was underneath. Uh -huh. Nightstand here and I put a cup of water in it to drink. And we'd sleep in sleeping bags. And when I woke up, it was a, always an ice, ice. block. <laughs> That's how oh you know gosh. it's cold in the morning. You reach over, it's like the whole thing goes chunk. <laughs> you can't start out at the top. You start out at the bottom. That's how the game goes. The natural order of things. Everybody say Thanksgiving. <laughs> Starts early around here. <laughs> Takes a long time for it to be ready for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Just add water? <laughs> Daniel, what do we have in here? Oh, 2100 baby cakes. <laughs> Look at their face. Yeah. Scowl. <laughs> kind of cranky yeah. all the time. I did soil test. Joel's soil versus his neighbors right over the fence and Joel's way better. Joel's farm is like almost twice the fertility by using better farm practices. Hey little guy. Let me touch him. Oh look, he's fresh. Just born. Wow. Can hardly walk. Hey, five, two, uh, three, four, five. What did <laughs> I say? I'm a master. <laughs> Still, I'm not in this flight distance. Three, four, five. This one's trying to tame. Right there, my hand got it. Even a lot of the eggs you see at Whole Foods, where it says organic, yes, they might be organic feed, but they're still inside, they're not on grass, they're caged up, so they're not getting to eat bugs and they're not eating grass. Just like a human, if you don't eat any salad, you're not healthy. These chickens are getting fresh salad. They eat the grass, they eat the bugs, they scratch through, they're, they're being a chicken. You wanna eat animals that are living the way they were meant to. I used to have to get 100 dozen eggs a day. These are good eggs. Thick calcium. See how thick the shell is? And these are the bright orange eggs. That's what you want. This is all natural oyster shells from the ocean. That's how they get their calcium. So they lay hard eggs. The beef that you eat regularly is from cows that are sitting in a big manure lot eating corn, which is not natural for a cow. The cows here were moved to a different pasture. So rotational grazing. Look how nice that grass is. So the best beef you can eat comes from rotationally grazed cows. They're healthier, less parasites. Um, they're getting clean, better grass, grass fed. I'm working on another brand, cowsonapasture.com. Now the pigs are about to be let out on pasture, but now they're building compost for Joel. Joel calls it piggerator pork. He puts corn in there and the, cor the, the pigs kind of flip the soil over, I mean the compost over and aerate it for them. They'll be out on pasture soon. It's kind of cool. They love it. And it doesn't smell bad because it's compost. It's not That looks like it's manure, but it's not. It's compost. All you that are drinking protein powder, whey protein, stuff like that, even egg protein, I'm thinking of doing a, a pasture-raised uh, egg protein powder. It'll be the best. I'm serious. No one has ever done that before. This is the kind of food you want to eat. Pigs on pasture, cows on pasture, chickens on pasture, not in factories, not on concrete. 